Let us open our Bible to the book of 1 Kings 10. 1 Kings 10. Queen of Sheba and Solomon's wealth. Queen of Sheba and Solomon's wealth. 1 Kings 10 verses 1 to 9. Queen of Sheba's visit to Solomon. Sheba, also known as Saba or Sabia in Eastern Africa, was the region covering both sides of the Red Sea, including Southern Sudan, Sudan, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Djibouti, and Yemen. We know from geography that this was a wealthy kingdom with much gold, spices, and precious wood from continental Africa. Sheba was known to have had queens and kings. The queens are well known as the Candaces, the, the Can Candaces the, uh, in Africa uh, is called Kandaki. In the table of nations in Genesis 10 verse 7, Seba and Havida, Havila and Sapta and Rama are listed as the sons of Cush, son of Ham, ancestor of the most black people, and son of Noah. And the sons of Rama are listed as Sheba and Tidan. Later, in Genesis 23, verse 5, Sheba and Dedan are listed as names of the sons of Joktan, Joksham, the son of Abraham. Another Sheba is listed in the Table of Nations in Genesis 10, verse 28, as the son of Joktan, another descendant of Noah's son Shem. The Jewish Roman historian Josephus describes a place, the first century Jewish uh, Roman historian, a Jewish historian, well known, describes a place called the Saba as a walled royal city in uh, current Ethiopia, which, which Cambyses uh, uh, afterward named Meroe. And that is what that is where reign the, the queens, the queens Candaces. Uh, another name for the queens, uh, the, which is uh, which is uh, uh, like the pharaoh, pharaoh in it, just a name for queen. In Africa, is called Kandaki. He says, I quote him, it was both encompassed by the Nile quite around and the other rivers, as Tapus and uh, as Taboras, and uh, quote, offering protection from both foreign armies and river floods. In Ethiopian Orthodox tradition, a Sheba or Saba in Ethiopic language, who was uh, Joktan's son, is considered the primary ancestor of the ancestor of the original Semitic component uh, in the uh, ethnogenesis. While uh, Sapta and uh, Saptesha, uh, sons of Kush, are considered the ancestors of the Kushitic element. Traditional Yemenite uh, genealogies also mention Saba, uh, son of. Uh, 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 Katan uh, or Joktan. Uh, however, they claim a Sab Sabian descent not from him but from uh, yet another Saba not mentioned in scripture, in the in the Holy Scripture. The journey from Sheba or, M or Miroe or Ethiopia, as the Greek called the, the Black Continent, the, the Black uh, area of Africa. Ethiopia to Jerusalem would have been about uh, 1500 miles or 2400 kilometers across across the present day Saudi Arabia uh, starting south from Yemen and going all al along the coast but it was certainly shorter 
along the Egyptian coast of the Red Sea. The Queen probably came as part of a trade delegation as implied in verses, uh, in verses, in, in uh, uh, First Kings 10 verses 2 to 5. But there is no doubt that she was highly motivated, motivated to see Solomon and uh, his kingdom and acquaint with his wisdom. The Queen of Sheba visits Solomon and Israel at their zenith that means the top of their prosperity. She travels in the manner of queens with a large royal pro pro procession, heavily laden with gifts and goods for trade. She is obviously familiar with the world of royal splendor and luxury. Yet she says Solomon's court is twice twice as magnificent as she expected. Not only that, she notices that uh, he staffed and servant and servants are happy. The Queen of Sheba came to Solomon to hear his wisdom, thereby to improve her own. Our Savior mentions our Savior mentions her inquiries after Yahweh by Solomon as showing the stupidity of those who inquire not after Yahweh by our Lord, that by himself our Lord Yahshua Christ. By waiting and prayer, by diligently searching the scriptures, by consulting wise and experienced Christ followers, and by practicing what we have learned, we shall be delivered from difficulties. Solomon's wisdom made more impression upon the queen of Sheba than all his prosperity and grandeur. There is a spiritual excellence in heavenly things and in consistent Christians to which no report can, can do justice. Here the truth exceeded, and all who are brought to commune with Yahweh through grace will say the one half was not told them in the, in the pleasures and the advantages of wisdom's ways. Glorify saints much much more will say heaven will say of heaven that the thousandth the thousandth part was not told them when they were on earth as it is said in in first corinthians 2 verse 9 queen of sheba pronounces happy those who constantly attended solomon she draws the connection to solomon's god acknowledging how he was chosen by Yahweh. Queen of Sheba's reaction to Yahweh's blessing to Solomon and Israel is an example of what Yahweh wanted to do for Israel under the promises of the Old Covenant. Yahweh promised Israel that if they obeyed, he would bless them so tremendously uh, that the world will notice and give glory to the to to the God Yahweh of Israel in Deuteronomy 28 verses 1 and 10. For the world world between quote world is represented by the Queen of Sheba in this chapter. It has been historically proven that the descendants and successors of the queen of Sheba, namely the Kandais or Kandake, eh, Kandake is uh, uh, the name of queen in the Kush kingdom of Meroe, had converted uh, uh, their citizens to the worship of uh, Yahweh through knowledge of the law and the prophets and the true Christ. 
as we see in uh, Acts 8 verses 26 to 40. The Sheba African region knew the scriptures before the coming of Christ and was Christianized uh, uh, by, the, by, the, by the Romans and uh, had published a, 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 a finding, a finding that, that was made recently in the kingdom of Kush, a Christian community that was unknown. It was on, uh, on earth in the, uh, the, fourth, the, the fourth to fifth to sixth century. And uh, uh, only the Muslim destroyed that community when they came in the eighth century. They, they destroyed it. But Africans were Christians. And most of all us from Cameroon, we are coming from there. We are coming from the east, that ancient kingdom of Kush. The Bantu people, we have migrated. For us, the Yaounde people, it even is even uh, 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 in our history how we, we crossed the Sanaga River because we were coming from the other side. And we were we were we were purchased, we were we were pursued by the, the Muslims who are who were in the North Cameroon. So we didn't want to be converted to 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 Islam. And the the the, the mythic uh, story of the Yaoundé people, uh, uh, the, uh, all the Ekang people, including all, all the others, the Fang, who are found in Equatorial Guinea and the north of uh, Gabon, uh, all those people speaking the language, the Beti uh, language, they traveled that big river, the Sanada River, the mythic story is that they travel by a snake, a big snake, and uh, all, all the nation was on that snake to travel. But it's just mythical to try to tell a story. So when we leave, we were not, in, 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 we were not there. We were coming from far, and we were coming from east. And that region was Christian, and it was Jews before. The Queen of Sheba herself I had a son from Solomon, and uh, that is the tradition that is kept in uh, in Ethiopia until today, until this day. With much more reason, may we say of Christ's servants, "Blessed are they that dwell in His house; they will be still praising Him." She made a noble present to Solomon. What we present to Christ, he needs not, but he will have us uh, do so to express our gratitude. The believer who had been with the Yahshua will return to his position, discharge his duties with readiness, and from better motives, looking forward to the day when being absent from uh, the body, he shall be present with the Lord. First Kings 10 verses 14 to 29, Solomon's wealth. Solomon increased his wealth. Silver, silver was nothing accounted of. Uh, they were not, they were, silver was seen nowhere because he didn't have a lot of value. Such is the nature of worldly wealth. Plenty of it makes it the less valuable. Much more uh, should the enjoyment of spiritual riches lessen our esteem of all earthly possessions. If gold in abundance makes silver to be, to be despised, shall not wisdom and grace and for tests of heaven we shall far better than gold make gold to be lightly esteemed 
see in Solomon's greatness the performance of Yahweh's promise and let it encourage us to to seek first the righteousness of Yahweh's kingdom this was he Solomon who having tasted all earthly enjoyments wrote a book to show the vanity the book is Ecclesiastes to show the vanity of all worldly things the vexation of spirit that attends them and the folly of setting our hearts upon them and to recommend serious godliness as that which will do unspeakably more to make us happy than all the wealth and power uh, he was master of and through the grace of Yahweh it is within our reach it is within our reach know this and then what Yahweh will bless you amen hallelujah let us uh, let us take these prayer points because I obey for Yahweh the world shall see his glory in me in the name of Yeshua, because I obey for Yahweh, the world shall see his glory in me. In the name of Yeshua, because I obey for Yahweh, the world shall see his glory in me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Because I obey Yahweh, queens and kings shall magnify his glory in me. In the name of Yeshua, because I obey Yahweh. Queens and kings shall magnify his glory in me. In the name of Yeshua, because I obey Yahweh. Queens and kings shall magnify his glory in me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. As people see the glory of God in me, they shall be banded with the Yahweh in the order of the Queen of Sheba. In the name of Yeshua, as people see the glory of God in me, they shall be banded with Yahweh in the honor of the Queen of Sheba. In the name of Yeshua, as people see the glory of God in me, they shall be banded with Yahweh in the honor of Queen Sheba. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Through the glory of Yahweh in me, I shall lend to the nation and shall borrow from none. In the name of Yeshua, through the glory of Yahweh in me, I shall lend to the nations and shall borrow from none. In the name of Yeshua, through the glory of Yahweh in me, I shall lend to the nations and shall borrow from none. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Through his glory in me, I am a crown of splendor in Yahweh's hand. In the name of Yeshua, through the glory in me, I, 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 am, I shall lend to the nations. Through the glory of Yahweh in me, queens and kings shall bow down before me. In the name of Yeshua, through the glory of Yahweh in me, queens of, and kings shall bow down before me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. Through his glory in me, I am a royal diadem in the hand of my God. In the name of Yeshua. No, no. no, no. Through his glory in me, I am a crown of splendor in Yahweh's hand. In the name of Yeshua, through his glory in me, I am a crown of splendor in Yahweh's hand. In the name of Yeshua, through his glory in me, I am a royal diadem in him. I am a crown of splendor in Yahweh's hand. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Through his glory in me, I am a, a royal diadem in the hand of my God. In the name of Yeshua, through his glory in me, I am a royal diadem in the hand of my God. In the name of Yeshua, through his glory in me, I am a royal diadem in the hand of my God. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. 
queens and kings will come from far countries to hear the wisdom of Christ from me. In the name of Yeshua, queens and kings will come from far countries to hear the wisdom of Christ from me. In the name of Yeshua, queens and kings will come from far countries to hear the wisdom of Christ from me. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I will make impression upon people, not through my prosperity and grandeur, but through my wisdom in Christ. In the name of Yeshua, I will make impression upon people, not through my prosperity and grandeur, but through my wisdom in Christ. In the name of Yeshua, I will make impression upon people, not through my prosperity and grandeur, but through my wisdom in Christ. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father, Yahweh, make those who are acquainted with me, with my wisdom in Christ, bless me and my companion with happiness. In the name of Yeshua, Father, Yahweh, make those who are acquainted with my wisdom in Christ, bless me and my companion with happiness. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, make those who are acquainted with my wisdom in Christ, bless me and my companion with happiness. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Father Yahweh, make those who are touched by my wisdom in Christ, fill the coffers of your house with treasures. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, make those who are touched by my wisdom in Christ. Fill the coffers of your heart with treasures. In the name of Yeshua, Father Yahweh, make those who are touched by my wisdom in Christ. Fill the coffers of your heart with treasures. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. Those who see your wisdom in me, Father Yahweh, make them give glory to the Lord of Israel. In the name of Yeshua, those who see your wisdom in me, Father Yahweh, make them give glory to the Lord of Israel. In the name of Yeshua, those who see your wisdom in me, Father Yahweh, make them give glory to the Lord of Israel. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. As I seek first the righteousness of your kingdom, Lord Yahweh, also gratify me with greatness. In the name of Yeshua, as I seek first the righteousness of your kingdom, Lord Yahweh, also gratify me with greatness. In the name of Yeshua, as I seek first the righteousness of your kingdom, Lord Yahweh, also gratify me with greatness. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. I seek not after the vanity of worldly things, but after the grace of Yahweh that gives me all wealth. In the name of Yeshua, I seek not after the vanity of worldly things, but after the grace of Yahweh that gives me all wealth. In the name of Yeshua, I seek not after the vanity of worldly things, but after the grace of Yahweh that gives me all wealth. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, the Messiah, we pray. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your word of wisdom, your word of guidance, your word of enlightening, your word of spiritual strengthening, spiritual growth, spiritual elevation. Thank you, Father, for your teaching. Thank you, Lord, uh, that you heard, uh, 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 that you heard uh, our confession, you heard our prayers of uh, uh, repentance, and uh, uh, after you heard, you took away our filthy garment of sin and iniquity and dressed it with a brand new garment, a garment cleaner than anything else, even the garment of your own spirit. Thank you, Father Yahweh, uh, that uh, you, uh, you heard our cries, our supplication, our, our requests, our prayers uh, this morning. Thank you, Father Yahweh, for your endless love to us. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, for your grace. Thank you, Yahweh, for your forgiveness. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Father Yahweh, thank you for your answers to our prayers this morning. Lord Almighty, Lord Almighty, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you all the praise. 
In the mighty name of Yeshua the Messiah, we pray. This is the prayer line of us and blood Christ. Father, well, once we hold the two prayer sessions of the, on this prayer line every day from Monday to Saturday. Our Monday session starts at 5 a.m. Our night session starts at 9.30 p.m. During the week, we hold church services on Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m. We normally hold the Word of God study. On Thursday, we are open to take you for spiritual counseling. To get your appointment for spiritual counseling, call the phone number 2404401438. On Sunday, our Sunday service starts at 9.30 a.m. And every first Friday of the month, uh, that will be next week. Uh, they, they didn't, we didn't do that yesterday. Uh, every first Friday of the month, uh, we hold an outreach, and the outreach starts at 10.30 p.m. Let us pray these closing prayers. Let us pray the prayer. Good Lord, Yahshua, Messiah, let us to pray. Our oh, Father, Lord, who Lord, art in Lord, heaven, Lord, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. That will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And leave us not into temptation, but deliver us of evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. We seal all our prayers with the blood of Yeshua. Thank you, Lord. All to your glory. In the mighty name of Yeshua, 